Very good morning to you. Um, is there good any morning. answer to the immigration and illegal immigration crisis facing Britain? There is, but just for that, it, this is such a serious matter. We have 10,000 people coming across the channel. We don't know, most of them, we don't know where they're from. And even if they tell us where they're from, we're not sure they're telling us the truth. Uh, we don't know the backgrounds, whether they've got criminal records, whether they've, uh, they're a threat to this country. Um, we need to secure our borders. And that's the primary function of a government, is to make sure that the country is secure and safe. And at the moment, I'm afraid that's not happening. Now, you ask about, is there a solution? There's only one solution. And, we, you know, if I'm coming across a channel, I need to know that I'm going to be sent back to whence I came from. And the only way we can do that is to do a deal, a treaty akin to the, the Dublin Convention. We permitted the UK to do that if they hadn't claimed asylum in France. So we need to do a treaty with the EU, not with France with the EU uh, and the EU to lay down new regulations for f the for, for to allow the UK to return those that don't claim asylum uh, in France or ones that already claimed asylum not to be able to do that again in the UK. Yeah, well, well which sounds great, doesn't it? I mean, it per presumably that's what Richard Tice is talking about. But, but the issue is it's not that simple. The EU don't, you know, don't want to do that deal with us, do they? Well, you say that, but I'm not sure that's the case. I think there are things they want. And in a, if oh, for, I, for, I've forgive said me, it, Ivan, but if, if there was a return deal that was that simple, it would have been done years ago. Yeah, yeah but there are things that the EU want. I've said this before in other programmes, and I've been absolutely lambasted for it. What the EU want is some form, some form of free movement back. Now, I'm not saying that everybody should come over. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying skilled workers... For example, surgeons, doctors, engineers, those skilled jobs that we need, we should consider free movement back. And I think if we put that to them, you may get a different response. And then look, it's the pro asylum problem is a global problem. The EU wanted a solution as well. The ones who benefit are the traffickers because countries are not working together. And while that goes on, they're the ones who are benefiting and making money out of it. Well, the politicians... So, I, think, I was going to say, the politicians tell us they're working together, but we're not see, we don't seem to be seeing any benefit. Although, again, if you drill down and ask the politicians of various colours, um, they will say, well, we are doing deals, um, you know, we're trying our best. But still, at the moment, it's a problem. Look, the Albanian work... Um, uh, there's a huge problem with Albania. Look, that worked because there was a political will on both sides to, to cut a deal to make it work. We've given tens of millions of pounds to the French. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I think that's the nicest, sweetest deal I could have ever had, the, for the French, that is, because they've got loads of money with no performance targets. I mean, how does that work? So we've handed over tens of millions of pounds to the French, and yet they have no obligation to stop any number of boats just to give it a go. And you know and I know, looking at what the French have done, they're not doing that. Uh, they're not working with us. Um, so we need to go over the French head. We need to go straight to the EU, to the, to, to the EU27, and have a global, um, well, within the European treaty, to stop going right back to source. Well, uh, it's not just about France. It goes back to Turkey. Yeah, it but goes back to, to, to Spain. But you've got, you've got to look at this sensibly, haven't you? I mean, like, the, the Albanian deal, the, the, the reason you can do a return deal with Albania is because Albania is, is having too much of a migration problem. They're losing mm -hmm. too many people. I mean, whether you'd call it a brain drain or not is another question. They're losing too many people, so they want to have them back. In terms of the EU, as you say, the, possibly the only way you're going to do it is some sort of, even if it was a limited free trade, uh, free movement deal. But people in Britain don't want that. They want to have control over our borders. I mean, we know that. Well, we don't, though, do we? Yes, I mean, we do. We have a referendum on it. We don't have it. any control of our borders, I'm afraid. And if I said to you, do you want a skilled French surgeon coming over? Of course I do. 
Um, it took me six months to get a CEO for a national airline over, and it costs the company about £40,000 to do that. Now, I don't know about you, but I would have given the CEO of a national airline uh, free movement to come over. We want skilled people, um, and there could be some sort of limited free movement. That's something that needs to be – that door needs to be opened, discussions started, um, and we want skilled workers. I don't see where the problem is for that. OK, well, we'll leave it there this morning, but it certainly is going to be a, a subject we're going to touch on many more times in the next few weeks, is it not? Thank Thanks you, very Ivan. much indeed.